And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Well, it's happened. We are moving towards the future, people. You as scientists have created a half biological, half synthetic jellyfish that can swim and even feed just like a real jellyfish. And what is the half biological part of this jellyfish? It's rat heart cells. The team of engineers and biologists at Caltech and Harvard built the cyborg proto jellyfish, or metasoids, with the goal of replicating the movement of a jellyfish. A crazy human made jellyfish thing jump in a real step towards cyborg life. Check it. Ooh. Wow, cool. Beautiful. It's a completely engineered jellyfish that blends living and non-living parts. Specifically, the creature is a thin layer of rat heart muscle cells grown on top of a layer of elastic silicone. The silicone mimics the elastic body of a living jellyfish, but that's just a test case. The real goal of this project is to find a way to mimic the tissue of a living heart. This is huge! Yeah, it is! Because of the pumping action of the jellyfish and rat heart cells, naturally it lends itself to a new breed of artificial hearts, artificial arteries, or just plain support for a weakened heart. In the past, we've had artificial hearts like the Jarvik 7, the Abacor replacement heart, the Syncardia system's total artificial heart, which have all had complications and were predominantly temporary. But the idea of a replacement heart that is completely synthetic is extremely exciting. As of today, there are 2,772 patients awaiting a heart transplant, with only 2,136 transplants actually being performed last year. And it's estimated that up to 40,000 people could benefit from a heart transplant. And it's not just the heart. The researchers say that the group's work was inspired by an interest for organ repair and the quest for better artificial organs. The possibilities behind that are incredible. If we could grow organs, you could be like Waylon, just replacing failing organ after failing organ and live forever. Right? Right. This is a step into life eternal. It's also a step into new possible life. I mean, of course, we're a long way away from this, but but researchers say that they want to build more complicated organisms as soon as possible. They say that with the jellyfish at this stage, the swimming behavior is limited. It can't control muscle contraction that would allow turning or maneuvering, but with the future integration of multiple cell types and compound materials that are capable of sensing environment and employing internal decision-making circuits, it could choose a suitable response from a variety of behaviors. Lee, are you serious? Yeah, that is literally an almost direct quote. So we're looking at creations of a cyborg that could potentially make decisions and respond to their environment? Yeah, I mean the question will soon be within these next decades, is it alive? Also, will it kill us? And or can I have a cyborg butler to bring me Coke Zero all day? Yeah, that's, God, that'd be nice. Yeah. Right? So guys, what are your thoughts on the future of cyborg organs? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and click this annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see the five stories of the day and every story we've ever done. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Lee Newton. What would your cyborg butler be? Grandpa.